Welcome Welcome. back to Game Dave's Play Games, where you can watch games and practice game design. (laughs) This old rookie? We're we're, we're back with Rookie and Nathan. (laughs) The Rookie and Nathan show? Hey, I'd watch that show. (laughs) Is everyone prepared, Hedwin? Yes, several of us have another question that's been troubling us. You need but ask. You said that one of us is going to return to the Commonwealth if we defeat the Tempers in the rites this night. What happens if we fail? Edwin, my boy, don't you see? The path to freedom and the path to enlightenment are one and the same. Do you intend to stray from the path? N- no. Then you'll be fine! <laughs> That's you'll be fine! <laughs> <laughs> but l- let me be much more upfront with you. Should you be defeated by the Tempers this night, then one of them shall end up going free, instead of one of you. It is as simple as that. Then, what then is to, is to be done? The very same is to the uh, very same as if we achieve victory. We await our next such opportunity and make the most of it. Tonight, our plan is to set in motion. We are not united in this cause. We shall look as ever toward the stars for guidance and seize upon our future chances just as they arise. So, look up, my boy, and set aside your doubts. It is time to take the great strides along the path. What if, like, this is just an... the hardest time saying his words the most. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is what it is. What if, like, this battle is designed to be impossible? Yeah. I feel like most games, it would... That would just be cruel. What if instead it's just, like, a really hard ramp in, in difficulty? Just, like, crazy hard. I mean, like, that in itself wouldn't necessarily be bad either. Like, normally that would make me angry, but I feel like for this game, it would actually kind of be interesting. Yeah. Most expected. I don't know why I feel that way. I wonder if it's because it's like this big journey to return to uh, the establishment that kicked us out. So, of course, the establishment is going to weigh it in a way that's actually impossible to win kind of thing. And, like, that sends an interesting message through the narrative it could i mean it could also be because of the expectation the the build up mm mm it's like a lot of times in games when there's this big or even really in media in general when there's a big build up like this there's like usually a letdown involved yeah you know hmm it's it's rocky not actually winning his fight the first one yeah, spoiler yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no the pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur, the pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates are present and prepared. Oh, oh. She just looks over him. Like, great. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what that's I said. What said. <laughs> then, anointed one of the tempers, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the night wings. A massive demon swaggers into view. He reaches for his mask. Hey. Haven't we seen this guy before? We haven't. Oh. I mean, I've seen him, kind of. Oh. He's, you know, you can play him in the multiplayer. Oh, maybe that's where I saw a brief glance at him. You know who I am already, but look where we've, what we've got here. The damned Nightwings decided to show up. Almost figured we were never going to see them again, I think. I past that, sorry. <laughs> he takes notice of someone in your ranks. Hey, you! He indicates to Dariel. She scuffs back at him. <laughs> Lose the mask. Ain't seen one of our own in ages. Not in these damned robes. Dariel's hesitation is almost imperceptible before she moves to remove her mask, just as her adversary asked. Satisfied. Whoa, you must be new. <laughs> Dariel soon puts her mask back on. Enough. Oh, enough talk. <clears throat> ah, I like you, curly horns. You have curlier horns. (laughs) Part of me wishes that's what she said. Tell you what, once we put out your lights, you'll come along with us guys. We're gonna have a hot spot open. Only shame is I ain't gonna be around to show you a good time. I should rather cut out my tongue. Oh, you don't mean that. Our kind, we got to, to stick together. Now, come on. Ignarius throws his mask back on as his allies snarl at the rest of you. It's a cool name. Ignarius? I like that. It feels pretty in line Ash with and cold, pyres and dick. demons and 
Have the Nightwings reached a decision on whose behalf they shall conduct this rite? I have to choose now? The Lone... Oh. The Lone Minstrel gets your attention in a subtle... The Lone Minstrel gets your attention in a subtle way. <laughs> Rita, this is it. The first comp companion whom you choose shall be anointed to go free this ni very night if you prevail. The other two in the Triumvirate shall lend their aid. As you may know, there is the only the most enlightened in the rites are el eligible to go free. Not all among you may be ready yet. Now, Nightwings, I would have your decision. Interesting. So, maybe it's like they have to be... Either they have to, like, have a... Uh, unworthy, man. unworthy, unworthy. Huh. So I wonder if it's like they have to either pass that trial in the book... Like, they, we have to expand on those characters enough to get to that point, or they have to hit, like, a certain level of expertise. They may be... Well, let's see. They're at level have... three. Is anybody else... At, yeah, they're yeah. at level... So it's not that. I Also, we've done the um, the test with the... Uh, what's her name? Sandra? Yeah, with that's... three and not anybody else. That's so. what I was saying, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could also be a story thing. Well, I think it's both. I think that maybe that trial with with her only happens if we get a deep enough relationship with that character. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. I don't That's... actually know how it works. Uh, well, I mean, I, mean... I, th I think it's only fair to choose Joe Dario. I feel like that's what you would want to, right? We all we do all feel bad for Joe Dario. I I, I want them her. all to go. That's I like. I I would be happy if any of them get set free. Honestly. See, okay. But Joe Dario Rookie, probably Rookie needs... still got some stuff going on here. That's like, true. Not that he wants to deal with, but he does still have story. Because that, meh. Edwin would never want to go before Joe Dario. He's just too nice to be like, plus, plus he's our pseudo leader. That's true. We have three leaders, but he's he's the third leader. But he's also the reason this whole thing got started. Yes. Mm. And then, I mean, Jody, but her story, she's ready to, I mean, she's not ready to, but she's ready. She's been here too long. She's been here too long. She so deserves I think, it. I think that's the answer. Yeah, okay, I'm into that. Joe Dario. <laughs> Me. Why? Then the gate guardian looks upon you and um, adver adversaries. Very well. Then under the watch of the eight scribes, here are the stakes of this eve's liberation rite. Should the night wings prevail, the one called Joe, Dar Joe Dario shall be liberated. Should the tempers prevail, the exile Ignaria shall go free instead. Then she turns to you. Now, who among the Nightwing shall com complete your triumvirate to strive alongside Joe Dario and see her re return in glory? What a way to say it. Yeah, right? All right, so we've got... We got a big guy, we got a worm, and we got snake. Got the crone. What would the what did the crone do? They No, they weren't the sapling. They... We fought them, like, midway through the game. Crap. Yeah, I don't remember. Didn't they have... Oh, they're uh, the ones the, like, that shoot the the multi, like... When they oh, shoot, they shoot at, like, six different arcs. That's right. They're, like, very, very aggressive zoning creature, or characters. Oh, man, this is going to be hard. I mean, that's the point. <sighs> All right. Cool. Oh, that's a cool one for them. I never thought of that. What does prisons do again? That's the widens your area oh, of effect. And we've wow. only seen we've only used it for the solid line characters, but we haven't used it for, you know, the like things like worms. So I'm wondering like how it's gonna affect his ability. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, that's kinda cool. Uh but I am gonna stick with my core group here. Yeah, I mean they are still a pretty solid foundation to work with. Edwin. They were designed well enough that like you could play with the three of them the entire game if you wanted. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Now let's bring Joe Dario home. Rookie. Yeah. Hey, sure, no pressure, right, Jum? <laughs> Damn color. <laughs> it's like red, no fur left. <laughs> Very well, the ace grabs accept your choices, reader, of the night wings. Then she indicates a lone minstrel. Now are you yourself prepared, Tarek? I sell Celeste. <laughs> Why you have such a hard time saying that know, name? I think it. <laughs> then let us all begin. But what does he do? What is he gonna do? I don't know. It's like, is he her equivalent? What does he do? <laughs> oh, Nightwings, been waiting an awful long time to get out of this hole. Try and stop me. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I wish <laughs> one of us could pull a cool rockabilly voice. 
because he has that pompadour. Oh, oh my. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I'd be way into that, but I can't I can't pull off that voice. What is this? What is happening? What's with the stones? Are those like stamina regen things? Oh, mm. this is cool. There's a uh, immediately just like a lot more going on in this stage than I guess I expected. Oh, crap. Ooh, oh, boy. you Not were close. Good. Not good. Good, he's back. Not totally screwed. <laughs> All right. <Bonk. laughs> All right, so we have a lot. Do those are just barriers, right? Like they don't do anything. Oh. Or do you think you'll die if you touch one? Oh, you have the orb. I didn't even see. Oh wow, he charged up so fast. Oh my god. Wow, yeah. Like I did. I didn't even realize that it. it was like still charging. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm done. I know. I saw it, and I was like, "Are you are you gonna throw it?" Oh, preemptive strike. Fairy spirit. So much happening. Yeah, I'm into this. Oh, oh, wow, that lingered. Oh, boy. Worms. <laughs> Worms. So when... Oh. oh, that must be Jody's talisman. So when she kills someone, the thing happens. forget what oh, the thing was. Oh, yeah, uh, when she kills somebody, you get unlimited stamina. Oh, oh, that's why those are appearing. Yeah. I thought that was just the stage doing it, and I was like, weird. Well, all right. Just give, just give me... Yeah! Bonk. Nice. All because that unlimited stamina, yo. Oh, their pyre has more health. Uh, so one of the uh, giants, or giants, the demon's ability. Oh. Is that their pyre starts with more? Yeah. Uh, um, you, I mean, you could choose to get it. It's like one of the second abilities. Oh. Is it possible for the orb to just, like, fall into the pyre after you've been hit? It seems unlikely, but I wonder if it's like Crap. a condition that could happen. As rare, ooh. No, I'm still good. I'm still good. I'm still good. I guess like. Oh wow. Ooh, that. Oh god, that's terrifying. I guess programmatically, it's pretty easy for it to just for them to just tell the orb to not fall into the pyre if you die. Yeah. That's so fast. That is so fast. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. I'm more st terrified what's going to happen when... <laughs> I like that he was like, ah, I don't know how to I get past plan, this. I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan. It didn't work, it didn't work. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, yeah, I'm more terrified to see what happens when we're at that turning point after you've scored enough times and it's like, all right, now we ramp up the difficulty tremendously because that's how it's ah, always gone. Crap. Womp womp. It's kind of doing that already, uh, because the the worm wasn't like you know racing for the orb until just now. Mm. Yeah, that's that's probably one thing that's pretty important for this is like making sure that the AI changes its behaviors, because otherwise it just like you learn what their strategy Crap. is and you just kind of lather, rinse, repeat. If the AI switches up their tactics, then it means that you have to actually pay attention. Oh, hey, come come on. And I oh, imagine it's it. one of those cases where it's like um, some s some strategies that are designed in the AI might be easier for the player to counter and some might just naturally be more difficult based on their play style. It, this play style I've actually adopted here is because of the AI, which is kind of cool actually. Oh. You know, not not often you can say that in most games. I mean, I think no matter what, it's kind of a uh, Oh, he oh, killed wow. me. Damn. I think no matter what, it's kind of a... That was a good shot. It was kind of like a like a questionable. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get him with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, no. they're so fast. But yeah, I think in most games like this, it's always kind of naturally like a, a relationship the player establishes with the AI. Um, but I could see like a lot of influence probably being caused from the AI in this game with establishing your strategies. Because so much is dependent on how the AI behaves. It, that, is that is so good. I I think that honestly, I feel like it's kind of broken. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it now. That that is way better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I think the only thing that Whoa. might prevent it from being broken is that it still requires you to be able to get up there. Oh. And like worms are fast, but like 
I'm not even using. I mean, I'm not using a worm. Oh, the worms are faster. Or oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I rookie, could be using it for the worm. Rookie is fast, but it still is a trial to get all the way up to the pyre. It is, except for with this build where I'm like giving him unlimited stamina. That's I, true. And actually, I could be I could be using other things to give him more unlimited mm, stamina. Mm. And so it's like. It, it, <laughs> Never look at an ability by itself and decide if it's broken. Always look at mm. the combination of abilities and if they can be countered. That's that's one of the things I learned from many years of hard design and experiences with that. That's fair. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyway, you, you good for nothing, Nightwings? Skip out on us for years and then show up, and all of a sudden you're just gonna let somebody out for once. But now we're gonna we gotta work for it, I guess. Damn it, yeah, I used to be the best at this, at least. But now, the pressure's just getting to me. Can't believe it's getting to me. Ah, Moria. I doubt you'd even recognize me now anyway. Aw. Way to, like, humanize bad guy. Right. Nice love, like, you, you're not gonna make this harder by making me emotional. I still feel worse for Jody. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Come on, Nightwings. Let's see you keep this up. Oh, boy. And here it goes. Yo. Oh, 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 wait, wait. All right. <laughs> nope. So I've been listening to some interesting design podcasts lately, um, and one that I wasn't super fond of uh, was making an oh, argument. I didn't mean to jump in. Uh oh, uh, it's all right. I guess I'll give him a point. So there, there was one I was listening oh, to that was trying to the make field. the argument that strategy-based games. Um, should basically be exactly identical on both sides of the board. Otherwise, it's it's always going to be an unbalanced experience. Um, I'm, I'm going to score this one with Jody. Yeah. Calling out. Babe Ruth in it. <laughs> Woo. But I thought it was an interesting discussion because it was like a clear example to me of like what's what's good design in terms of like on paper, on what you might consider to make good strategy, doesn't necessarily make a good game. Um, so it, it's not... Yeah! Yeah! And that's how you do it. But I think Pyre is a really good example of where heavy diversity in the game, even if it's not perfectly balanced, I think it makes for a better experience. Because you and I, off, off the show, have continuously talked about how our favorite part of the game is the combat sequence. That looks so cool. That is super cool. So, I, I mean, we, we've, we have talked about this. If it's perfectly balanced in that regard, it's just chess. Just play chess. Yeah, and chess is great, but chess specifically is a game that caters to people that are focused purely on strategy. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't necessarily make for good game design. It, it, chess is good game design, but that doesn't mean that an unbalanced game is bad game design. Wait. Gah, what a joke. We should have had this. You should have had this. Got all rusty. You've been waiting so damn long. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Night wings. I'll be seeing you around, I guess. And next time, you ain't gonna be so lucky. Because I got my pompadour. Because I got my pompadour and tattoo. Sing my rockabilly. <laughs> Oh, she's all like white and stuff. After all this time. She then turns her gaze toward the rest of you. I never doubt this day would come. I have all of you to thank for this and for doing this for me. The life that I recall back at the Commonwealth was at times difficult, and I'm much older now. I know now what I shall find on my on my return. I do oh, not. I do not. I now know. <laughs> Whatever. However, I know this. If that place still is like the Commonwealth I left so long ago, then I shall strive to make it better, for as long as I retain my strength and breath. You see her smile faintly, and she disappears to the shimmer Aww. pool. Though you can still hear her voice, though faintly now. Farewell then, reader. All of you. Farewell. What if she actually just died? <laughs> what if that's actually what's happening here, and they think that they're returning to freedom? It's like, we were in limbo from the Commonwealth, and now we're going to hell. <laughs> like, ah, uh, this this was not what I signed she up for. Return to the Commonwealth and leave the downside forever. May she return in glory. Godspeed, Captain Jodani. Yeah! She, like, explodes into fireworks. Uh, nope. Grows golden hair. <laughs> Super Saiyan! <laughs> 
Uh, the, the cycle of the rights may commence again. Do 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 experience but, at the end of but, the game. But did did Jody level up? <laughs> did, huh? Nope. She's <laughs> gone. No. Man, we got. Well, I don't think we're notes. done. Done. I think there's still something else to do. I mean, I certainly hope so. I think. I, I don't know. Just end game. Like, goes I mean, back like to the if they roll screen. credits here. It would still feel appropriate. If they roll credits and the game continues, that'd be very JRPG-ish of them. Yeah, that's true. How are we doing on time? We are at time. Uh, so now it's sort of the question of... I think I think we do another one. Okay, yeah. And then yeah, we'll, there's... like, even if it, if it is over, we'll just sit there and discuss it and go on with our day. Because there's still obviously more. Cool. Right? So then, should the question of the day be, what would you do at this point? I think, actually, the question should be about that right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I didn't really have a huge difficulty with it. I've had harder time, and and yeah, as I said, I picked up like my skills are a lot better than when I first started. So I kind of just like trounced that. Uh, your your strategy was pretty sound though, where I think you knew more and and what you wanted to do, and it worked than you have on prior rights. Yeah, that's fair. You I, also haven't used the core trio in a while. That's true, and those are the easiest to get your to get a handle around. Mm hmm. So, uh, I guess just, I mean, the, the level also shifted around a lot, and there were the, the blockades would mm -hmm. randomly kind of switch around. So, I guess overall, what would you have done to increase the difficulty of that final right? But still be fair. Yeah, yeah. At the same time. Absolutely. Uh, or maybe you played this and had a hard time with it, and I just happened to have that one item that, and upgraded it to level 20, and maybe it was... A, Maybe if I didn't have that, it would have been a lot harder. I honestly don't know. I mean, it could honestly be a case where min-maxing was beneficial. It, maybe. You, you've super focused on one talisman and it paid off. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to score with Rookie. Yeah, and I scored, I scored with Rookie. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Thank you for watching, everyone. Cheer your thoughts in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Maybe yeah. 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 Mm. Mm.